With the exception of the circle, all 2D shapes such as triangles and hexagons have corners. Both 2D and 3D shapes have faces, edges and vertices, or corners. We need to know how to measure corners if we are to be successful with geometry. We measure corners with angles as each is a turn, usually measured in degrees. In a straight line, angles add up to 180 degrees. Angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. There are 360 degrees in a complete turn or a full circle. Skateboarders describe their moves using angles. Can you think of some examples? Acute, obtuse, reflex and right angles are terms we use to describe angles. They are useful when estimating angle size. So how do we measure corners in common shapes such as triangles and hexagons? We could use a protractor, but their accuracy depends on the type we use. An accurate way to measure angles is by using geometry. It helps a lot if we know some facts about internal angles in regular polygons. In every type of triangle, the internal angles always add up to 180 degrees. Quadrilaterals such as squares and trapeziums have four sides. Their internal angles always add up to 360 degrees. In a pentagon, the internal angles always add up to 540 degrees. And in a hexagon, to 700 degrees. There is a trend here. Can you predict what the internal angles of a nine-sided shape would add up to? The trend creates a formula for calculating the sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon. n minus 2 times 180 degrees, where n is the number of sides of the polygon. This formula comes from dividing the polygon up into triangles using full diagonals. We know what the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees, so we just need to multiply by the number of sides minus 2. Vertically opposite angles are angles that are opposite one another at an intersection of two lines. A transversal is a straight line that crosses a pair of parallel lines and corresponding angles are those created at the points of intersection where a transversal crosses a pair of parallel lines. Alternate angles are on opposite sides of transversal. Quinteria angles are those between the parallel lines with both being on the same side of the transversal. Two sides are supplementary if they add up to 180 degrees. Can you think of any areas where you would see vertically opposite transversal or corresponding angles?